Hi, I'm Jade and today I'm going to show you how I use glue dots. Not only am I going to show you how to use glue dots, I'm going to show you how to use them in your single placer and your multi placer because I've heard a lot of people struggling to do it in their multi placer and I could not find a video showing it, but I, I could just be horrible at looking for videos. But I, this is my ride or die, the I can't use patty wax because your girl has sensitive skin and it turns out she allergic. For me, the best option is glue dots. I absolutely never use pink wax anymore. I never use wax anymore. This is all I use. I only use glue dots and I have various sizes of them too. So yeah, I'm excited because I feel like some of you will get addicted like I do. I have bought way too many size glue dots because I'm like, maybe this will work. Ooh, maybe this will look better for this size. Ooh, this, 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 you know, I, I get a little obsessive. Could be just my personality, could be the ADHD, but you know, is what it is. Um, so let's go over to my table and the project I'm working on is uh, Portals of the Past from Dreamer Designs. It's an old whip that I just stopped working on because I was sick of it for a while, but I figured it would be nice and fun to look at while I show you how to use the glue dots. Now, before we head over to do the, the tutorial, if you want to, you can help support this channel by going to my buy me a coffee in the link down below and you can do a one-time donation or you can do a membership, whatever you please. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to, I will be fine. But a free thing you can do to help support me if you enjoy my content is leave a comment down below because that helps spread my channel and uh, show people that it is good content. So uh, yeah, leave a comment down below and let's get over to the table. So first I want to show you that there are multiple types of glue dots and some alternate options. I found these at Michael's. They're called Zots. They are basically the same thing as glue dots. They're the same price, but I just wanted to mention that there is another brand that may be more accessible to you. So if you cannot find glue dots, look and see if you can find Zots, which are these, but they do come in like all the sizes glue dots do. This is just the one I got because I was like, ooh, I can use that for multi-placers. There are long skinny pieces. See, that one's about an inch long and like, I don't know, uh, an eighth of an inch thick. There are, these are the mini glue dots. And these are originally what I use for my multi multi-placer, but I found that I actually like these better for the single placer. There are ones that you can sometimes find in the Dollar Tree and for whatever reason, they're blue, even though none of the rest are. Uh, but I actually really like these. They have kind of more of a jelly fill feel and like they bounce back, but like they work exactly the same. So I don't know, maybe it could just be like some are older, some are newer or what, I'm not sure, but I do like the, oh, <laughs> it did a little flip. And then there is the micro dude, goo, 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 there is the micro glue dot, which is very, very tiny. This, I have to use like three to four of them in my single placer here. Let me zoom in maybe, yeah. I have to use like three or four of these in my multi-placer. I mean, single placer, so it's like, these are hardly even worth it. But I do like these to kind of top them off. So say like the top of my single placer stops being sticky. I'll just add this, cut off a little bit of the top and then add this on top of it. And I think that's what these are perfect for. But like filling your pen, I feel like you're gonna waste too many of these. For it to be worth it. These are all the ones I have currently. There are different sizes, more of them. I will link uh, some online retailers for these and I'm pretty sure they're available everywhere but I, I could be wrong. They could not be international but I am absolutely obsessed with these so I wanted to make sure to show you like they are they have tons of variations. My pen is empty and ready to be feel filled filled. Um, I'm going to be using the mini size. This is probably the size of like the end of a typical pen pencil eraser. What I do, to, and I'm using this for the single placer, like I said, I take it off with my teasers, tweezers, because it's very sticky. And I, I feel like if you try and do it with your hands, it's just, it's going to stick to your hands and you're going to get irritated and just not do it. So sometimes I'll like, wrap it around uh, like itself 
to get a little ball. And then I just kind of shove it in the tip, um, if you know what I'm saying. So you just kind of like, if you're having it trouble getting it to stick inside, sometimes you just have to hold it with your finger like I did and then just keep poking the extra into it until you, you're sure that it's pretty sturdy in there. So I'm just gonna keep poking it in there to make sure it's secure. And once I'm pretty sure I have it filled the way I want, you can see there is a bit extra and that's okay because what I do next is I take some very like small pointy scissors. I think these were only like five bucks at Joann's or some craft store, I don't remember. But I kind of match them to the edge of my tip and just cut off the excess. So now they're, there's the excess staying with my scissors and now it is perfectly filled to the brim without having too much like extra so it's not going to be annoying and I, I guess hard to having it squish out the sides. So you can use it the other way and just like whatever but I feel like you know cutting off the extra just makes it a lot easier to control when it comes to actually placing drills. Now, just to show you how these work, and it, by the way, if they're ever too sticky, just dab your hand or, or, I mean, gently, but dab your hand or your skin because it will help take away a little bit of the tackiness because it's so sticky. These last, I only have to change these about every two to three weeks, and usually I just top them off, I, so I hardly have to do this. Spill a little. <laughs> All right. Oh, I might have cut off a little bit too much, or I might have dabbed it a little too much. But the sticky does come back, so even if you dab it a little too much, after placing a few drills, it will come back. See how the popping noise is getting louder? It's because the stick's coming back, because I just touched it a little too much. But you don't have to restart, just place a few drills. I'll do this little section too. Oh, here, let me, let me spill some more. Is it chaotic that I'm not using a tray? It's just because you guys are resting on it on my tray right now. And I didn't want to go grab another one because I'm a lazy POS. And I really like the noises it gives. Also, I'm going to show you how to top it off. So say like, I'm like, oh, I feel like it might have compacted inside the tip and I want there to be a little bit more. That's when I grab my micro glue dots. I'm trying to show it. It's very hard to see, it's right here. And I just kind of poke the tip and it's, and then it'll stick to the tip and there will be extra, but I just fold it over. So that's another option if you're like, oh, I think I cut off a little too much, which I might've done that because I was on camera. So now that I push that on, it's gonna stick to the former glue dot that was already in place. And look at how much louder it got. And you saw, I already touched it a few times, so it's still, I'm telling you, these are my favorite thing in the world. All right, now let's move on to the multi-placer. For the multi-placer, the size I like using most is the large size. And like I said, for the Zots, this is the large size. Um, the Zots one is clear though. I mean, most of the glue dots are clear. I think it's just a dollar store brand or Dollar Tree brand that for some reason is blue. But like I said, same difference, uh, you use in the same way. So what I do, is these ones come with a protective cover, so I have to take that off first. Oh, okay. So it's there. What I do is I take the paper it's connected to and fold it over so that it becomes, you know, more compact. So I don't have to do as much work when it comes to shoving it in. So, okay, see, now that's half size. Now I'm gonna fold it over again. Basically, you're making a little taquito. 
out of glue. <laughs> And I'm just kind of rolling it so now that it's in like a little rolled shape I might like mess with it a little more just to you know get it a little more cylindrical but generally like folding it over twice is enough and it usually works a little bit better it's just that it's stuck to the plastic cover which if you get the ones just in Joann's or Hobby Lobby they don't have this plastic cover so you won't run into this issue this is just the Dollar Tree ones. So now that it's uh, rolled up, it's pretty much the same size. Now you can kind of stretch these if you pick it up with a tweezer and put it in, but essentially I line it up so that it will fit and then just kind of press it so that most of it is going where it needs to go. And then I can pull off the plastic. Now that's not pressed in enough so you can either this is uh like the cover plastic so you can kind of press it down like that onto the cover plastic to you know further push it in and then you can also grab a pair of tweezers and like keep them closed and just kind of gently push it down oh ouch that hurt do you see that right there it's called stabbing yourself. Don't do that. Don't be like Jade. Don't stab yourself. My hand looks so weird. Um, and for some reason, the Dollar Tree ones, I feel like, are stickier. Like I said, they have more of a gel-like feel. But I don't know if that, like, depends on how long they've been on the shelf or not. So now I've shoved it in a little more so that it's not hanging off the edges. And again, I'm going to press it down to see if that's enough. And then I'm just going to use my thumb and really, you know, press it in there. And roll over the sides just to make sure that nothing's hanging off the edges. And one last time I'm going to take my tweezers and this time I'm going to like poke it in to really squish it into the edges because you don't want this popping out like... I've never experienced it popping out while I was, like, placing drills or anything, but, like, that's happened with wax, so why couldn't it happen with glue dots? So, just shove it in so that it's touching the very base of the, like, little couplet in there. And again, there is excess. That's okay. Uh, I like to rub it so that the excess is more, you know, instead of on the sides, it's on the top. And then again, I'll take my little scissors. It's hard because my, <laughs> my freaking drills are in the way. Oh! Why? Every time I film a video, I end up spilling shit. It's a curse. It's a curse! I'm cursed. It's okay. It's okay, Jade. It's okay. Don't flip out. Just, to, just. At least it was just the trash drills. You're fine. You're fine. Ugh. Okay. So like I said, again, there is like plenty of excess on top and I'm just going to line up my scissors with the edge and just snip off anything that I think is too much. Now you don't want to use like your best uh, sewing scissors or embroidery scissors because you know this is not this will get your scissors gunky for one and you could be scratching the scissors against either a metal or plastic tip so just keep that in mind. You can just use whatever like cheap plastic scissors or cheap like you know craft scissors I just these ones are very pointy and I like them for this <laughs> so now I have cut off the excess and since I haven't touched the that part I need to touch it again so it's not so so sticky and you can do that as many times as you want you can put it on like your dry elbow skin uh, I used to do that um, and you just can keep touching it. And like I said, even if you over touch it, it will be okay. After you do it a few times, the stick comes back. Okay. So now let's test putting them on with the four placer. Oh, and I will link the uh, skinny metal multi-placer um, that I got on Amazon. So 
catch that in the link below. All right, I was actually smart this time and I grabbed my um, Yun made tray and I will link this also in the description down below because this is like the best tray ever and I'm obsessed with them now. So let me grab this color. And I'm just gonna, you know, multi-place like I would, but with glue dots in the multi-placer. And again, if you really like that popping noise, uh, it will come back. Generally, when I first refill it, it tends to be slightly more quiet. And if you don't want to like place drills with it being quiet, you can always just go on a section of drills that are already placed and just till like the sticky really comes back. Sorry about that for a minute. It just turned into ASMR diamond paint. Diamond painting. So uh, now that I've shown you this, I will take you, take you and show you how to remove the glue dots so that you can, you know, if you ever want to like switch it out, change it out, put new stuff in, you know how. Lastly, real quick, I did want to show you how to remove them in case you want to like start fresh. It's pretty uh, simple. Just grab a pair of tweezers. I have done this with the plastic multi-placers and it still works. Oh, is this going to focus? Just gonna focus okay so pretty much you're just gonna stab your tweezers in there and sometimes I kind of like pinch the like tip of the glue and then just twist it and then it pulls out very cleanly and sometimes you can just turn this around and put it back in if you don't want to like throw it away and use more but for the sake of video purposes I'm not. And look at that's extremely clean and it works the same whether it's a plastic tip or a steel tip. Uh, by the way, I will link these tips in the description down below. I really like these. They're the catered brand or cat eared brand uh, steel tips and uh, I love them. I love them. And for the multi placer, it's essentially the same thing. You're just kind of stabbing your tweezers into it pinching and twisting and it pretty much usually comes out in one piece because it is so sticky to itself that it doesn't really leave any residue and it keeps it very clean like all of it came off on my tweezers and you saw how quick that was yeah it's pretty easy um to remove them if you want to switch back to wax or whatever you can do so pretty easy it's not going to like ruin your tips and you know, be annoying. I, I feel like these are like really easy and other, like you just need to be told how to use them if you're not sure. Ye ye. All right, I hope that was thorough enough that um, you could, you know, follow along and really understand how to use them. Um, I've had some people ask me and say that like, oh, they've seen people use them, but they didn't understand exactly like how they got them in. They just say like, oh, you know, so I was trying to be a little bit more uh, in depth with that. So. Sorry if I went a little overboard and too long, but I thought, you know, better uh, teach correctly and thoroughly than, you know, just half-ass it and hope that you get it, you know what I mean? But I absolutely love these glue dots. They, like I said, last me two to three weeks and generally I just top them off. I don't even pull them out and refill them unless like something real gross goes on there because sometimes like I'll get a bunch of dog hair and then I'm like, you know what, I'll just, I'll just replace it. So also the glue dots come in big rolls. So this like lasts a billion years in the diamond painting world. So far, even for all the things that I've tried in my like single placer and multi placer, glue dots has been a favorite since I started using them. Whether it be putties, waxes, anything, I just, I'm a glue dots girl. And I actually have some friends who use glue dots and they feel the same way. So I feel like if you like using glue dots, you're, that's going to be your ride or die. You're done. That's it forever. Uh, but I really hope this was helpful and uh, I really appreciate you watching and I thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.